two packages of rice, three of pasta and four of flour, some sugar and some oil. That's what the social government in Venezuela gives lower-income families every month. Crayley says it's not enough to feed her son Isaac, who has what's called primary undernutrition. What he needs is more protein, things like chicken and cheese, which have got much more expensive, so it's very hard to get those because my husband doesn't have a job right now. Isaac's condition was critical when he was first admitted to this privately funded healthcare center. Here, Crayley gets baby formula for her son, as well as training on how to care for Isaac. The aim is to provide a mother with the tools necessary for a sustainable recovery. This means not only getting knowledge about nutrition, but understanding how to combine nutrients, finding substitute food, and most importantly, getting motivated about finding a source of income. But it's a struggle even for those with a basic income. According to the charity Caritas Venezuela, a family needs about a hundred times the minimum wage just to cover the most basic nutritional needs. At Caracas' largest pediatrics hospital, cases of child malnutrition are on the rise. But its doctors say the state hospital doesn't have the capacity to care for people. People have to go and buy their own food and medicine. So essentially, the government only provides the institution and the doctors. But if a child needed any kind of surgery, the parents themselves will have to go and find all the necessary equipment and medicine in order to carry out the operation. At this point, the government isn't able to respond to the people's health needs. TRT World has gained exclusive footage of what was once considered one of Latin America's best pediatric hospitals. But now most of the equipment, including the X-ray machine and generators, don't work. The head of the country's pediatric society believes this will have a lasting impact on the population. The World Health Organization says a country with 10% of its children with malnutrition is at risk. At 12% it's considered famine. In Venezuela, a recent study conducted in five different states shows that we're at 14.8%. It's terrible for the Venezuelan population. If a child doesn't grow and make the cerebral connections in his brain in the first thousand days, it's hard to recover afterwards. The Venezuelan state is compromising this generation, and at least two more to come. We'll see Venezuelans becoming thinner, shorter, and with a cognitive disability. Isaac might be one of the few children getting the help they need, but there are many more with families struggling to provide the bare minimum. It is Tian Shan TRT World. Caracas.